that's just wrong. Robert Halstead calls himself an outdoorsman, but even with all the time he spends outside, he never expected to find what he did late one night while heading back to his campsite in Stuyvesant. I was walking down the trail, I seen this big white thing, didn't know what it was at first, so I got closer. Then the dog started growling, so I made him lay down, went over to it, got like three feet away. It was an eagle. The trail's four foot wide. This thing had its wings spread, hissing at me, covering the whole trail. It was a bald eagle Halstead then saved, shot by a shotgun, unable to move. This is all state land, so you have a lot of turkey hunters, you have a lot of duck hunters, a lot of deer hunters. There's all sorts of hunters in these woods. He doesn't have his characteristic bald head yet, but we're okay. thinking he's a juvenile. Which makes him just one to two years old. And as these x-rays show, he's got more pellets in him than years of life in the wing, leg, and at the base of his skull. Right now, very, very critical, um, is able to perch on his own, which is a good sign, especially because we're worried about his neurological status. Mm -hmm. um, he's still, it's, it's really touch and go. We're worried about infection down the road and potential long-term effects from the pellets, because they are lead. But both caretaker and rescuer alike hold on to hope. We do have a flight cage for him to recover out, out in the back there. So he should be able to, once he's able to fly, we'll put him out there so that he can rehabilitate here. I've never really experienced happiness in my life. I've had a bad life. But just being able to touch that wild eagle like that, who can say they've actually gone to the woods and pet a wild eagle? Reporting for YNN, I'm Ine Park.